Well, songwriting is a talent that very few people can be successful mm -hmm. and even more difficult when you write and record more than 23,000 songs about places you may not even have visited. Okay, but if you are Matt Farley, a singer, songwriter and filmmaker from Massachusetts who writes songs about cities and towns in all 50 states, I guess it's a little bit easier. Creme 2 photojournalist Dave Summers caught up with the artist who's written nearly 100 songs just about Washington and Idaho. Spokane, Washington, oh yeah, what a wonderful land. About 15 years ago, when digital music was starting to grow, I noticed that if you write a song about something universal, like love, in the title of the song is just like love, you know, or something, no one's going to find it because there's probably a million songs with love in the title. Rose Falls is a wonderful place and I like it. However, if you write very specific topics, then people will find it. Yakima, Yakima, the Palm Springs of Washington. So I determined that that was the, the best um, approach was just to think of all think of all the topics that songwriters aren't covering and write so many of them that even though none of them are hits, they all would add up to enough to live out, live off. Cordelaine, what a wonderful I call myself the guy who sings songs about cities and towns, but then I do it like the Hungry Food Band is, is the band that sings about food. The toilet bowl cleaners sing about potty humor and so on and so forth. I love to go to Spokane Falls. I'll just go to Wikipedia, go to that state where they have a list of cities and towns. I'll, I'll have it go in order of population and I'll start with the most populated, work my way down. So I click on the town, and I'm not joking, I hit record. Moses Lake. The final vocal recording is happening as I'm perusing Wikipedia. They got a cool downtown in Moscow. You can tell when I'm running out of, like, some of the cities don't have a lot of details, and that's when I'm just like, the local government officials are wonderful people. City Hall is a wonderful place filled with wonderful government officials. I definitely mispronounce a lot of places. Go to the beach on Lake Pend Oreille. I think people enjoy like the jubilant way in which I um, say really uninteresting things. You know, like check out Brian Tower on the campus. Basically, my whole life has just been an attempt to um, to not have to stop doing stuff like that, you know. Go to Valley Fest, have yourself a grand old time. For me, the 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 answer has been: if you write twenty three thousand songs and they're all earning a, you know a few dollars a year, then boom, that's enough to live off. And um, so far, so good. Oh my goodness, I could just go on and on about rap drum all day. <laughs> he's great. It's genius. I like how he's just all in on the songs, right? It doesn't I, hold back. I, I'm impressed with his ability to do it kind of all in one take. Like as he's, I mean, as he's recording, he's just coming up with the lyrics and yeah, going it, along. If he gets a few bucks per recording, he's doing okay, right? It's clearly working. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Very fun.